Welcome back to the Fuller Fanatic channel. Today, I'm going to compare two flippers by the Farron Forge brothers. First, we have the Mini Archbishop, a miniature version of Farron Forge's iconic design, the Archbishop. And next up, we have the Prolix, a recently released design by the brothers. And instead of dragging out a lengthy list of specs that are very close, if not the same, I'll cover points between the two I feel matter more in deciding which ones fit your personal needs and EDC tasks. Starting with the blades, you will notice their extreme differences. The Mini Archie sports a drop point blade and 9CR18 MOV. While the Prolix has a Warncliffe style blade comprised of Nitro V steel, and while the 9CR steel is stainless and will easily take a good edge, it is very soft and edge retention isn't that great. Nitro V is a non-powder form steel but has a max hardness of 64. Basically a lot tougher than N60 and stainless, but edge retention isn't very high either. The Prolex's blade is an eighth of an inch longer and both share the same thickness at 120 thousandths of an inch and the same factory stone wash finish. The tabs do differ a bit with the mini Archies being somewhat thinner and only half the jimping. The thumb hole differs as well. The Prolex blade shape and how it is seated in the handles allows for an elongated thumb hole which is what we see when comparing the two. Speaking towards the handle, this is the biggest difference in the specs numbers with the Prolix handle being a quarter inch longer. In my opinion, the difference is really felt due to the fact the Mini Archbishop's handle has a swoop at the rear and at this size, those ergos force the hand one way or another and it's usually forcing the pinky finger off, whereas the Prolix handle continuously flares outward then tapers off with a round side that points straight back. This allows the user to pick and choose hand placement and not feel forced in either direction along its handle. The handle thickness, material used across the board are all the same. A difference to note is the fact that the steel frame on the Archie has more of a flat edge on it. Not sharp at all, but the mill has a flat side, whereas the exposed frame edge on the Prolix is completely rounded, and this makes for a really smooth in hand feeling, and I can immediately tell the difference. These round edges also, I believe, are the reason I've heard so many complaints about disengagement on the Prolox lock, and people having to jam their thumbs in there. Which brings me to the action. The Mini Archbishop's detent is set a bit lighter than the Prolix. Easier on the tab deploy as well as flicking and actuating the thumb hole. The Prolox's deploy is a bit more snappy and definitely emits a louder, more appealing thwack. I personally prefer the Archie's deploy from a fidget friendly standpoint. The disengagement of the Prolix slows the whole repetition consistency with fidgeting down. While this doesn't affect the knife's functionality, it does affect the fidget factor, which personally would play a major part in getting this build. To really sum things up as a whole, the knife's biggest differences aren't in the specs, so to speak, yet it's more in the aesthetics of the build. Do you prefer more of a drop point style or warning? In addition, do you like a handle that clamps into the hand when clenched or to have a free filling handle where finger placement doesn't really factor in? Lastly, even though the weight difference 33 hundredths of an ounce isn't something one can really feel, the balancing and distribution does differ enough. The Prolix is definitely butt heavy, with its point of balance resting at the start of the lock bar area. The Archie on the other hand has more of a centered balance. In conclusion, being biased and honest to the fact that I've always loved and wanted the elusive full size Archbishop 2.0, I'm leaning towards the mini Archie as the better build. I've definitely liked the Archie's blade shape and functionality in comparison. And the action is just a step up in my opinion on the Bishop as well. And by no means am I mad at the tighter fitment and stiffer detent on the Prolex. And to be fair, at the time of filming, the Prolex is only about 3 days old, although I did open it up in order to dress the scales. But I did the same with the Archie, which the action remains consistent going on about a year now, so I don't expect much change to occur. I have to also note that what I thought was true about the blade is the fact. Like Todd Begg's Bodega to Glimpse, the Prolex blade is really the Mini Archie Bishop's blade drop point, flipped over, thumb hole placed on the reverse side, and make the drop and swedge a tad bit more aggressive at the tip, then add the slightest belly on the edge, and there you have the Prolex blade. It may be a genius move from a business standpoint, but as a consumer, I'm left with the feeling of being bamboozled just a little bit. And don't get me wrong, I still love the Prolix, but either way, I'm going to have to side with the Mini Archbishop as the knife I would rather own if I can only own one in my arsenal. Which build looks better to you? Leave a comment below 
And if you own both, do you feel a difference in the actions either way, lighter or stiffer? Please like the video, share, and sub to the channel. And with that, I'm signing off from the Fuller Fanatic.